so proud of these players and these coaches. You know, nobody gave us a chance. We didn't write ourselves off. This is for all the Giants, all of our fans, and we are thrilled to be going to Indy. We need everybody! Let's go! What a play by Victor Cruz! Hey, right where we want it, on up. This defense is playing lights out. And Nix makes the catch! New York, a demanding city with high expectations, especially with its sports teams. After a second straight season of missing the playoffs, the New York Giants looked inward for answers. Stunned silence here in Giant Stadium. Giants gonna leave here saying, who that? Who that hit us over the head? We need to get back to Giant football, and I take full responsibility for that. And all that speculation and discussion is great. The only thing is, you got to go do it. I'm old school, okay? Don't tell me, show me. And we expect everybody to kind of look at what took place last year, uh, quite frankly, be offended by it. Let's all get on the same page. Let's all know what we're trying to accomplish because it's not that far back that we didn't just win this thing. February the 3rd, 2008, at stake, the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Just four years earlier, the Giants had walked into Super Bowl 42 and knocked off the previously perfect Patriots. 17-14 in the final, okay? 17-14, fellas. One touchdown, we are world champions. Believe it, and it will happen. How did he get away from that? I have no idea. What a play by the quarterback. Come on, a catch by Tyree. 39 seconds to go. Manning takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! And that is it. The New York Giants have knocked off the New England Patriots 17-14. The Patriots will not be perfect. They were for 18 games, but not the 19. Read all about it, baby! Big Blue! Hey, we won the Super Bowl! And the Giants, with the most improbable win, have won Super Bowl 42. And let the celebration begin. In 2011, the Giants' season would be eerily similar to that championship campaign of 2007. And it would begin at the lockout shortened training camp. All right, here we go, here we go. Defense is on one, offense is on two. Here we go. Break down, break down. Good ball, good ball. Be smart, be smart. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Learn from it, learn from it. Here we go, come on, man, we need the work. Let's go, let's go. Two-step redirect, you know what that means? Two-step redirect, you're redirecting his path. Yeah, then you're free to cover. It's a contact drill, that's all. That's all it is, is banging into each other. Don't tell me about whether you play it or not. Just line up and bang into each other. All right, everybody's up. We strike, we're up, we're on our feet, we play hard, we play physical, we don't go to the ground. Let's go. Nobody's on the ground. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what we're doing. Get ourselves ready to go, here we go. Never mistake activity for achievement, okay? I wanna remind everybody here, we are all on the same team. Let's have a team. One, two, three. Team. That's better. A somber anniversary made the first Sunday of the 2011 season unlike any opening day in Giants history. Eli Manning got the Giants' new season off to a fast start. Manning drops back to throw. Steps up, Knicks is past the defense, and he makes the catch at the 20, 15, 10, 5 to the goal line, down at the 1. But New York couldn't sustain their early momentum. 
and lost on opening day for the first time since 2007. Intercepted and running for a touchdown by the rookie Kerrigan. Coughlin's crew would perform much better in the primetime glare of Monday Night Football. A nationwide audience saw New York begin its home schedule by honoring the heroes of Super Bowl XXI. That night, the 2011 rendition played at a championship level on both sides of the ball. First and goal, Giants. Hand off Jacobs, runs left to the five, to the goal line, touchdown, standing up. Manning back, throws left for Nix, he's got a touchdown. Game Nix made a spectacular catch. Manning looks end zone on the post, but Dominic kicks it. Bobbles the ball, and then makes the catch for the touchdown. Dominic kicks it, juggled it as he went to the ground. Great job by Hickson, great concentration, Paul. He looked that ball all the way in. That's a great tough play by the young receiver. Bradford under pressure, he'll get sacked. Tuck gets his second sack tonight. Hit, drop, didn't get there. Lost some yardage. This defense is playing lights out. So now it's third and eight. Bradford, little screen. That's a lateral. That ball's behind him. It's loose. Picked up by the Giants. Foley's got it. Running down the right sideline. To the 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Giants. As the Giants get their first win of the season, now off to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. I just want somebody to answer this question. Huh? What the f we at right now? We in Philly. Need I say more? That is our house, though. Need I say more? New York! New York! New York! New York! New York! New York does on three. One, two, three. New York! The Giants hadn't beaten the Philadelphia Eagles in their last six tries. But that streak appeared to be ending as the Giants seized a 14 to nothing first quarter lead. Little wheel route to Brandon Jacobs. And the Giants strike first. Perfectly thrown pass by Eli Manning. It's a well executed play, but a perfect design. That's good game planning on the Giants part. He hadn't caught a single pass his entire rookie year. But on this day, Victor Cruz wrote the first chapter of his remarkable 2011 season with a breakout performance against the Eagles. Fought by Cruz, runs out of the tackle to the 40, up to midfield, makes another man miss to the 45, down the left sideline, there goes Cruz. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Giants! And that was just bad tackling. Hey, hey all that Cruz. But a LaShawn McCoy touchdown helped put the Eagles on top 16 to 14, heading into the fourth quarter. From this point on, we're about to make our mark right now. We're going to finish this game. It ain't no press on us. Hey, right now, this one we build this chain. Right now, we're in chain, and we stand strong. And Hit by Grant, hit again, and he's tackled for a loss by Michael Bowley at the 46. Tell him the defense is complete. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. We complete. Tell him. Said it, man. Let everybody keep down, though. Let's keep playing. Cruz's second touchdown put the Giants back in front. Deep ball toward the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown by Cruz. He took it away from two defenders. What a play by Giants led by six, and the defense made it stand. Kafka takes the snap. Pumps, looks, lobs one deep down the right sideline. Intercepted by Aaron Ross at the 45-yard line of Philadelphia. He was step for step with Deshaun Jackson, and Ross played it beautifully. His second pick of the ball game, and the Giants get the football back. And to bring that storm alive. Regular, they brought it in. They brought it in Detroit. Zero flood also. 
This was only the first of what would prove to be a season filled with late game heroics and fourth quarter comebacks. Manning, a little screen left for Bradshaw. He's got for Bradshaw to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Giants! And now everybody's headed to the exit. Leaving so soon? And this ball game is over. Can't even win and we won. Can't even win and we won. Now remember, aim high, aim high. Coughlin's Giants were aiming for their third straight win heading to Arizona. But three Beanie Wells touchdowns lifted the Cardinals to a 27-17 fourth quarter lead. Wells going to walk in for his third touchdown, and it's a two-possession game. For the second straight week, Eli Manning and the Giants relied on fourth quarter magic to escape the Valley of the Sun with a victory. Traffic makes a man miss and then tackles at the two. Spectacular catch. Wow. Play fake, manning the throw. Fires one left to the end zone. It's caught in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Yes. Jake Ballard with an acrobatic catch. Manning takes a low snap, throws one left down the sideline for Nix, who makes the catch for the touchdown. The key Nix beat his man down the left sideline. And the Giants have the lead back. All right, we talk about a story of resiliency here. They persevered thus far to get back in this game. Let's see if the defense can hold yet again. Cobb with a shotgun set. Fitzgerald out to the left. Cobb back under pressure. Sack! O.C. Humanura gets there. And the Giants are going to win this one. You know, these games, they're, they're fun. Uh, you know, I don't think you want to play in these every every single week and, and get down 10 and have to come back. But um, we got to work on getting off to a faster start and not being down in the fourth quarter every time. After two straight weeks on the road, Victor Cruz put on a show for the hometown crowd at the Meadowlands with 161 receiving yards and a touchdown against the Seahawks. Despite throwing for a career-high 420 yards, Eli Manning and the Giants couldn't complete their third straight come-from-behind win. Picked up by the Seahawks and go in the distance. Ball game over. Down, down, down. And MetLife Stadium is stunned. At 3-2, and two, the Giants now face the daunting prospect of taking on the Red Hot Buffalo Bills. the Bills were the NFL's early season sensation. But not to Ahmad Bradshaw. The Giants running back had his most productive day of the season, rushing for over 100 yards, along with three touchdowns that gave the Giants a seven-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. Manning, handoff left for Bradshaw to the end zone. Touchdown standing up. His third of the ball game. And now the Giants have the lead. Giants 24, Bills 17. I don't never get in standing up. Never, dog. Every time standing up. Easy work. It's a day of practice now. Easy work. Green 20. The Giants teed off on Bills quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick with three sacks. Tied at 24, Corey Webster chose the perfect moment for his second interception of the game. Intercepted by Corey Webster! And that is huge. Corey Webster went step for step with Stevie Johnson. No one could go step for step with Bradshaw, whose critical run set up New York's game-winning field goal. Giants will 
win the game. Good job by this giant defense closing out the game. Good job by the offense in closing out the game. Fight forward two against a good football team. Great job, guys. Way to battle. We're four and two. Hey, we're four and two. That's right. We are four and two. What do you think I'm talking about? The other team? I hope that's it. Congratulations, man. That's a great job. No game in the NFL can be taken lying down, even against a winless opponent. Linebacker Michael Boley and the Giants found the Dolphins a tougher than expected challenge. So fourth and goal at the one. Play fake. Moore is going to roll to his right. He's going to run. Walks in for the touchdown. Now the Giants have got a major fight on their hands now. This won't be a pushover. They've got to earn it. Number one, we're not getting them off of the field on third down. Yeah. Okay? All right? We're not getting them off the field on third down. And then we're not tackling well, number two. Hey, it's a little detail. Hey, the details. Let's get this right, man. <laughs> Trailing 14 to three in the second quarter, New York showed its gumption as its offense came alive. Go on. Gotta take a shot in the end zone right here. Manning out of the shotgun. Throws one left, looking for Manning. And he's got a touchdown on the corner fade. Hell yeah. It's clear that the Dolphins don't have enough on the defensive side to stop the Giants as long as the Giants don't stop themselves. Hey, let's keep the momentum, man. Let's keep it. Momentum is a slippery thing, but the Giants were able to maintain their grasp. The Dolphins weren't quite so able. Victor Cruz, and he spins up, and into the end zone for a touchdown! Giants needed one more stop to clinch the victory. And they think they're lucky stars that they weren't playing a better football team. It's a W. It wasn't pretty, but it's a W. We keep on winning, keep on playing, doing what we're supposed to. The bright lights only get bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Yes, That's what our best foot forward. Everybody knows what this game Let's means. Let's make them respect us. From team ownership to each man on the roster, there was an air of excitement as every giant hoped to prove himself against the NFL's elite. Tom Brady hadn't lost a regular season start at home in an NFL record 31 games, but New York held him and the Patriots offense to a scoreless first half. The Giants seized a 10 to nothing lead in the third quarter. Jenkins up the middle to the five, to the goal line, standing up, touchdown Giants! New England went ahead by three points, an advantage they would lose on New York's next possession. Anningham goes left. Third and five at the New England 10. 3.07 to go. Giants down by three. Manning back to throw. Corner fade for Manningham who's got it. Back in the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. The Patriots retook the lead late in the fourth quarter. But the Giants were undaunted. We need more, man. Oh, finish it, man. We need more. Oh, finish it, man. If you get by him now, if you run right up on him and jump around him, you can put that thing on the back shoulder, all right? Down by three. Time running out. The Patriot aura and 80 yards stood between New York and a victory that would force the NFL to consider them contenders. So it's third and ten for the Giants at their own 39. Manning back to throw. Throws the seam. Baller makes a twisting catch. First down, Giants. What a catch by Baller. And now the Giants have it at the 33 and a chance to win. 
champions meet every challenge head on and do whatever it takes to win. Here you go. Watch it in, oh, go. Third and goal to go for the Giants. Time remaining, 19 seconds. Manning's gonna throw, throws it left to the end zone, touchdown Giants! Jake Ballard! How's that for a comeback? That's just a great drive by Eli in this offense. Anyone who doubts whether or not Eli Manning has the stuff. Eli Manning, that'll be his fifth fourth quarter comeback of the year. This is the Patriots' first loss to an NFC team at home since they lost to the Green Bay Packers in 2002. Manning brings them back and breaks the Patriots fans' hearts just as he did in Super Bowl 42. We got a good football team and we play together like that when we have the physical nature to the game, when we get after it, when we believe in ourselves and we're never out of it. Every play, the next play is the most important one and that is a hell of a football game. At 6-2, the Giants were standing tall atop the NFC East, but they were now in their most grueling stretch of the season. Their next test was against the 49ers in a preview of the NFC Championship game. We ready to rock and roll, baby. We came all the way out here for one reason. That's to win. New York Giants, baby. That's what we do. Hard-nosed football has been a hallmark of the Giants. And the first half was no exception. Smith has some time now. He gets hit and sacked by Limbaugh Joseph. In the third quarter, the Giants found the end zone for the game's first touchdown. Mario Manningham made a diving catch looking back into the sun in the back corner of the end zone. But two fourth quarter San Francisco scores left New York facing a 14 point deficit. Two possession game right now. We've got tracking. I like to make sure that it's not a one possession game. We'll settle down. We'll get the ball. We'll win this football game now. Keep it rolling. These guys are the comeback teams. Keep it rolling. Manning out of the gun. They bring pressure late. Manning throws one down the left side. Looking for his receiver. It's caught by Nick for the touchdown. What a catch by Akeem Nix over the defender, and what a throw by Manning. And the Giants are right back in it with 8.37 to go. Down by seven, the Giants look for yet another fourth quarter comeback. Fourth and six with 3.33 to go. Giants need two full yards at the 10 yard line. Fourth down and two. Manning takes the snap. Manning looking. Manning has broken up. Batted down the line. Justin Smith batted the ball down. And the 49ers bend, but they didn't break. So the Giants come back, falls short. I thought we were in perfect control, and I thought we would get their score. Put it in overtime, win it in overtime. We played hard, we fought hard, and that's the one thing we can take away from this. Very disappointed in losing. We didn't come here to lose, we came to win. It just didn't happen. From MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey, it's the New York Football Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Giants debut their first round draft pick, Prince of Ukamara. Man, this is an amazing feeling, man. After falling to the 49ers, the Giants were feeling particularly foul. The Giants' defense vented their frustrations on their division rivals. Young back to throw. Stands tall, gets hit, heaves one down the left side for Jackson. Intercepted by Prince of Ukamara, the rookie. How about that for your first NFL game? But New York struggled offensively and trailed by 10 at halftime. All right, we know what's happening. Boys, physical toughness. You gotta make the play. You gotta make the play. Landing out of the gun. Four-man rush. He's back to throw. He's under pressure. He rolls right. 
right, throws right, downfield, he throws it, a high arcing pass, and it's complete to the key next. Second and 10 at the 24 of the Eagles. Manning takes the snap, slides to his left, looking down, throws it left side of the end zone, touchdown, Victor Cruz. So Eli Manning throws his 10th fourth quarter touchdown pass, which leads the NFL. And this game is about to be tied. But on this night, Manning's fourth quarter heroics weren't enough. The Eagles drove the field, dealing the Giants a devastating defeat. Now it's really time for a reality check with this team. Reality can deliver quite a punch. And in Bayou country, it was the Giants who were on the receiving end. Big Blue found the Big Easy anything but. Manning pops one left for Ballard, and it's intercepted. New Orleans delivered a complete beatdown, handing New York its worst loss of the season. And the Giants need to stop the drift. That's their season. They have now lost three in a row with the defending Super Bowl champions coming next Sunday. New York's season had gotten off track. The Giants hope to prevent a complete derailment of their playoff hopes at home against the undefeated Green Bay Packers. When we good, we great. When we great, it's because we play loose. In order to keep up with the high octane Packers, New York needed big plays and lots of offense. On their third snap, the Giants got both. Beckham's got it at the 30. That's left to the 20. Travis Beckham at the 15. To the 10. Shakes it elevated at the 5 and goes in for the touchdown. The unlikely suspect. No one's ever seen this guy catch a ball. Giants 7. Packers nothing on Travis Beckham's 67 yard touchdown catch. Ain't a better stop machine. I can tell already. We had three positive plays. Unfortunately, not every play was positive. Manning with time. Throws one to the right. Intercepted on the run. That's Clay Matthews, and he'll walk in for the touchdown. The measure of a team can't be taken when things are going well. It is how that team responds to adversity that proves its quality. Intercepted by the Giants' Chase Blackburn, who was just signed the other day. How about Chase coming back? The Giants trailed by 11 midway through the third quarter, but their resolve was unshaken. Giants now down 28-17. Manning off play action, back to throw. Manning with time. Rainbows takes a shot deep downfield for Akeem Nix, and he has got it inside the 20. Number huge pass play. That's the way you strike back. Manning lobs one to the right for the pass play and a touch. Touchdown, Giants. What a catch by a key mix. They want to come right back and show that they can beat this team. And look, they're competing every which way they can, not letting setbacks set them back. Fourth quarter, baby, trying to step up. Let's go. New York pulled to within a point. But there was a reason Green Bay had the NFL's best record in 2011. So now the Giants are down eight with 3.34 to go. We need everybody! Let's go! Like he'd been all year, Manning was money in the fourth quarter. The Giants gave the Packers all they could handle as number 10 methodically guided New York into position. Conversion to tie. And he calls the signals. Draw play for where? He runs up the middle and he's got it. Two point conversion. Nine plays, 69 yards. The Giants won't blink. But when two elite quarterbacks share the field, it is often the one who has the ball last that comes out on top. Snap is good. Kick on its way, and it is good. And the Packers remain undefeated. 
they're the best team in football right now. We've had them tied up with 52 seconds. You know, I think we got to take something from this game, take some momentum into these next games. We got you know four big games left, and, and we know what's ahead of us, and we know that we got to play good football for a for a run this thing. The New York Giants had one month, four games, to turn their season around. It began with the final road trip on the schedule, a Texas visit to take on their divisional rivals. We could end up knowing every NFC division winner by midday on Sunday, except, of course, for the NFC East. That division race looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. The Giants and Cowboys engaged in a dogfight with two head-to-head -head meetings to go. A win would put the Cowboys in control of the NFC East. But they couldn't control Jason Pierre-Paul, New York's one-man wrecking crew. The Cowboys go without a huddle. Romo rushed from behind and is uh, set. Get out of the end zone, Tony. It's a safety. Jason Pierre-Paul, relentless effort there. In a game with nearly 1,000 yards of offense, JPP dominated with a safety, a forced fumble, eight tackles, and two sacks. His individual effort is beating the double team. While JPP kept knocking him down, Eli Manning kept putting it up on a night when the lead changed hands eight times. Manning throws it down the field. There's nobody to defend. He's going to trot in. 47 yards, a completely blown coverage. The Cowboys matched New York score for score. A pair of fourth quarter touchdowns gave Dallas a 12 point lead with under six minutes to go. Eli had America's team right where he wanted them. First came a touchdown to Jake Ballard. And then another drive that ranked among Manning's best of the year. This is as good a quarterback performance in the clutch with the season on the line as I have seen in a long, long time. You gotta scope it. You gotta scope. Turn around, you're about to see a touchdown. Cowboys by five. Second and goal of the one for the lead. A minute to go. Hand off Jacobs. He runs right, follows his blockers to the goal line. Touchdown, Giants. Eli Manning is doing the impossible again. Despite these heroics, a Dallas field goal would tie the game in the final seconds of regulation. What's your best block play? You got somebody that can rise up, make the play? It's called individual effort. Snap is good again. Kick on its way and it's blocked! Blocked by the Giants! And it bounds into the end zone and the Giants will win it! And the New York Giants have saved their season! Individual rolls up. Is it Jason Pierre-Paul? He's done everything else tonight. There he is. Yep, Jason Pierre-Paul, JPP. Jason Pierre-Paul, if you're not in the Pro Bowl this year, there should be an investigation based on one game alone. What a hell of a fourth quarter again mm -hmm. to take the star down off the mountain, put the NYG up on top. Yeah, right. Now listen, no, listen keep it up now. there. You got to keep it there now. Keeping team focus was just as important. But the Giants' minds seemed somewhere else the following week. And last place Washington made them pay. For the first time in a dozen years, the Redskins swept their season series with New York. sums it up. You play like you don't belong in the playoffs. You don't go to the playoffs. There was now no margin for error. New York would need a win over a familiar foe to stay alive. Big Apple bragging rights and a good deal more was at stake in the Meadowland showdown. Battle for New York. 
Gotta love it. Don't get any better than this. As the home team, the Jets made it a point to introduce former giant Plexigo Burroughs. But the man who'd supplanted Burroughs as the Giants' top receiver proved to be the true star of the game. Looks, throws one to the right, completes it to the right for a first down, and running out of a tackle down the right sideline is Victor Cruz, chased by Smith, hurdles over him, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Giants, 99 yards! That should have been an 11-yard gain right there for a first down, and that's what happens when he missed tackles. He leaves Antonio Cromarty on his knees. Oh, no! And Victor Cruz was off to the races, you can't ask for a bigger momentum change than that. The Jets weren't able to stop the run either. Bradshaw up the middle, makes a man miss. At the five, pulls a man over, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, he just drops it on Rodney Poole. I mean, he just lowered his shoulder and ran him over. And the Giants have a 10-point lead. The Jets are in trouble. That trouble was compounded by a now healthy Giants pass rush that dropped Mark Sanchez five times. Sanchez back in his end zone. He's under pressure, sacked. They're going to roll it a safety. And that'll just about end the game. The Giants proved to be New York's tougher team. And that toughness extended to their head coach. And off where he runs right. Where's got a first down? Out to the 30. Down the right sideline, and he steps out of bounds at the 42. Coughlin took a shot as Ware got knocked out of bounds. Coach kept his feet, though. Yeah. Like Coughlin, the Giants were still standing and poised to take the final step toward the playoffs. This might be the best Christmas any of us ever had. 12 o'clock training room tomorrow. I'll be in there myself. <laughs> and, and look, we won't even start thinking about Dallas until Monday. Oh, Wednesday. It was winner take all in primetime. The last game on the NFL schedule. A division title there for the taking. We're 60 minutes from being an NFC East champion. Let's lay it all on the field. Hold on, on three. One, two, three. Hold on. All year, New York had overcome obstacles. This game would be no different. And Pasco hurdled Newman, got out across the 15, and got a first down. And it's Heinoski. He hurdled Newman again. Terrence Newman has now been hurdled by a tight end named Bear and a fullback named Henry. Then Newman got torched by a receiver named Victor. Cruz has got it. Down the left side, when he goes. Across midfield to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Victor Cruz. 74 yards, and he's done it again. The Giants made life just as miserable for the Cowboys quarterback. Romo takes the snap. Back and throw. He's under pressure. He's going to get sacked. This giant defensive front is just too much for this Dallas Cowboy offensive line. We, didn't hit we got you. You didn't hit him out of kill. New York sacked Tony Romo six times. Now sacked by Tuck. Fumbles the football. And the Giants have it. A glut of pass rushers. And he's gonna do yeah. never have they enough pass rushers. They got enough. He's he's enough. Side side. They got enough. Dallas also had more than enough of Ahmad Bradshaw, whose two scores built a 21 to nothing halftime lead. Go with the Cruz! Go with the Cruz! Go with the Cruz! Wait, wait. Rolls left, goes in deep down the middle of the field for Cruz, who makes the catch at the Cowboy 29 in between two defenders. One more haymaker knocked out Dallas for keeps. Throw it left for Nix. Touchdown, Giants. And that's your ball game. There's Celebrity.
celebrating in the aisles at MetLife Stadium. And the Giants are going to host the first ever playoff game in this building. Congratulations to the NFC East right. champion. Great job of finishing now. Great job of finishing this part of the season. And now we go, man. We go. We play Atlanta at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Let's go. Let's get ready to go. First playoff game in MetLife Stadium. Can't get no better weather. Can't be no better team. Can't get no better teammates. All in the day. That's all we got. We ain't got nothing to save it for. If you don't put it all in the day, you're taking your ass home. And I don't want to go home. Hey, Texas! Hey, Texas! Hey, Rob, Rob! You third, third! Hey, 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 hey! Watch the angle, Rob! Wait, wait, wait. Michael Turner led the NFC in rushing, but New York's defense quickly cut him and the Falcons' offense down to size. Flying back to throw. Under pressure, sack! Rocky Bernard got in there for the sack. In short yardage situations, Big Blue was even nastier. Great in there. That's awesome. Fourth and inches. They're showing power formation. How about this? Come on, man. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. I got him. Not going to snap it. He does go for it. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. He did not get it. And they did not get it. Running the ball proved a far easier task for the Giants. Their resurgent ground attack ran wild in the wild card. Atlanta never could contain Brandon Jacobs and Ahmad Bradshaw as the Giants rushed for a season-high 172 yards. Their efforts set the stage for the first touchdown of the day. Manning back to throw, slants one right to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants, and keep it. The game was still closely contested in the third quarter when once again Atlanta chose to challenge New York's fourth down defensive prowess. And Ronnie White short of the first down inside the 21. Hey, no, right here, right? Hey, hey, I, yeah. I do this, I do this. I, right, oh, yeah, but that's a bad spot, though. Come on, bro, you tackle. You do your job, let me do I do mine. That okay. one's right here. No, it's right here. Fourth down, got to get to the line. Come on, Mr. Grant. Give me a favor. Falcons. They're going to go for it here on fourth and one. Remember, they, Ryan got stopped the last time. Here comes Ryan to the line, fourth and inches. Empty backfield. Jones in motion. Ryan's going to keep it. He got stopped. He didn't get there. Second time today. They've been stopped on fourth and inches by the big blue defense. That's what I'm talking about. Atlanta's short yardage failure enabled Hakeem Nix and the Giants to achieve long distance success. Eli back to throw. Steps up over the middle. Nix wide open at the 40. 45 runs for a tackle. There goes Nix. Gallops over another. He's going to score 72 yards. And some effort there by Hakeem Nix. Now he catches this ball in traffic and he's got. Three guys around him, and he just splits the difference almost like he hit turbo. A closeout score clinched the Giants' first home playoff win since 2000. Middle of the field, high post, and it's caught for the touchdown! Mario Manningham with the touchdown! Hey, you a beast, man. I can't say that enough. Man. Don't you say that. <laughs> <laughs> the New York Giants are on to the divisional round and a trip to Green Bay against the Packers. Let's go! 
With their 15-1 record, the Packers took the Lambeau Field turf as heavy favorites against their visitors from the East. Let's go, D! There's 32 teams in this league. Guess how many at home? That's right, baby. That's right. But guess what? We not. Let's go take some, huh? Let's go, O! Oh. First and 10 Giants at their own 34. Takes the snap. He's back to throw. He has time. Fastball over the middle. so good for the Packers. Ah, Green Bay's vaunted offense could not get untracked, sputtering badly against New York's defenders. The Giants led by three late in the half when they were unexpectedly handed a golden opportunity. We'll break one of these runs. Bradshaw's very close right there. We just keep having a we'll break one. All right. 13 to 10 Giants as we near halftime. 15 seconds remaining out of timeouts. Bradshaw cuts it up the middle. He's got the first down. He veers to his right, trying to turn the corner to the sideline, and he gets out of bounds. Stop! Make the tackle! Six seconds to go. Manning back, steps up. Keeps one down the middle of the field into the end zone, and Nix makes the catch for the touchdown on the final play of the half. Oh my goodness! Giants 20, Packers 10. Wow! That's a heck of a play there. It's a gutsy call. Hakeem Nix outleaped everyone on the left corner of the end zone. 37-yard touchdown pass. In the second half. Packer mistakes multiplied. Rodgers back to throw. He pumps. He's under pressure. He has the ball stripped away. It's loose on the ground. The Giants are way out of it. Runs out of a couple of fumbles. Some of the football. It's picked up by Blackburn. He's running with it to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. He's down at the 4. Giants have a first and goal at the four. Manning back. Throws back in the end zone, and it's caught by Manningham for the touchdown on the post. Cheesehead Nation could only watch in disbelief as the Giants sent the pack packing. Jacobs turns the corner at the 10. He's to the five, to the goal line. Touchdown, Giants! And that 14-yard run is sent the Giants to San Francisco. Sunday, San Francisco, here we come. From high atop a rainy candlestick park in San Francisco, California, it's the NFC Championship game as the New York Giants take on the San Francisco 49ers. The winner on to the Super Bowl to face the New England Patriots. Starting to rain hard. It's been raining all week in San Francisco. Field is wet. Back to throw, looking right, looking right. Throws a touch pass down the far side. Dorian Davis got it. On the run, 30, 30, running, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, 49ers. We, all right? we got to play ball, man. Calm down. We got four quarters to play. The Niners scored first, but their lead did not last. Manning pump fakes, now throws under. He's got his man, Bear Pasco. Touchdown. I mean, wide open. 15 to go in the second, tied at seven. Meanwhile, Victor Cruz was tearing up the NFC's top-ranked defense. Manning in 
Austin Cruz are just playing flag football right now. They're playing absolute pitch and catch. Pitch and catch. You're going to have to find a way to get Carlos Rogers some help on it. I know he's the Pro Bowl corner, and Cruz is just having his way with him right now. Cruz at 112 yards on seven catches already. I can't cover no option route all day. Like, if I go inside, the man running outside. You know what I'm saying? Weatherford is set. The Aussie snap is good. Kick on its way. Plenty of lag, and it is right down the middle for a field goal. Woo! Giants lead the Niners 10-7 at the half. By the third quarter, the rain over Candlestick Park had subsided giving San Francisco a clear opportunity to retake the lead. Smith looking to throw. Alex Stanton throws a deep ball for Vernon near side. And he's got it. Touchdown. Second of the ball game for Vernon Davis. And the Niners are back in front. You guys push it toward. Amy Fong is the only guy that can hurt up. You got to realize we're here. New York secondary got the message and shut Davis down the rest of the game. With San Francisco's top target out of the picture, their quarterback became a sitting duck in the candlestick quagmire. Looking for a real route left. He's in trouble, and he's going to get sacked by Pierre Paul and Justin Tuck. The Giants cover, and Alex didn't look like he had anywhere to go. Early in the fourth quarter, New York's alert special teams changed the course of the game. Kyle Williams going to let it hit. Takes a bounce for New York. Takes a longer roll for New York. Boy, that got a great roll. And it's picked up by a New York man and running it as if Kyle Williams would have touched it, but the ball is being ruled not touched and down. Devin Thomas is saying it hit one of the body parts of Kyle Williams. Well, that ball grazes his knee. And it hit his knee. The Giants have to challenge that. He said it touched me. It did not touch me. And it is the Giants ball at the 29-yard line where they recovered it. <laughs> Manning back to throw. He zips one to the left to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Mario Manning. Third and 15. And the New York Giants score a touchdown. Giants are back in front with 8.34 to go. New York's lead was brief. The 49ers answered on the next drive with a field goal that sent the game into overtime. Well, we got one more ball game after this one. One more, let's go. Let's finish this goal. The stalemate continued until New York's special teams broke San Francisco's heart again. Turnable for Williams from his own 20. Lost the ball. And the Giants say they have it. They do. Kyle Williams was stripped of the ball. Incredible. For the first time, Candlestick is quiet. 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 One jarring, jolting mistake. Hit a 47-yarder at Lambeau Field four years ago to send the Giants to the Super Bowl. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. I know. It's gonna be alright. Everybody's set. Snap is low. Kick on its way. It's got the distance, and it is good. He's done it again. He's kicked the Giants to the second Super Bowl in four years. We got him to the ball. We got him to the ball. I'm so proud of these players and these coaches. You know, nobody gave us a chance after we lost four games in a row in the middle of the season. 
We didn't write ourselves off. This is for all the Giants, all of our fans, and we are thrilled to be going to Indy. Congratulations, Giants. We're going to the big one again. One, two, three, two. In the heartland setting of Indianapolis, the Giants were one win away from claiming their second Lombardi trophy in four years. Super Bowl 46. Man, oh man. Ain't no bigger stage than this, man. Ain't no bigger stage, man. All season, Tom Coughlin had preached his team first mantra. I just think it was all about me. It's about this team, man. It's about this team. Hey, we're one game away from being the greatest okay. football players in the world this year. You're gonna carry that for the rest of your damn life. Play out there like you mean it, man. Let's go. That's what you live for. Super Bowl. That's what you grow up watching. Steve Young, Montana's, Aikman. And Tom Brady. Let's go! Let's go today! Get it started, fellas! Get it started now! It ain't nothing but a football game. That's all it is, a football game. In this football game, the Giants offense operated with efficiency during its first possession. But the fire of their opening drive was eventually extinguished by the Patriots' pocket pressure. Tom Brady got acquainted with the Giants' pass rush. Brady rolls to his right a little bit, fires down the field, and it will be incomplete. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're going to call intentional grounding. Intentional grounding? Intentional grounding. The 12. Offense. That penalty results in a safety. And who would have thought the first score of Super Bowl 46 would be a safety? For them to get a stop like that on our offense and then get a safety on the next play, that hurt. Eli Manning broke Phil Simms' Super Bowl record by completing his first nine passes as the Giants controlled the tempo of the first quarter. Bradshaw's 24-yard run was the longest play of the half, but it was a Patriots mental error that kept New York's scoring drive intact. Manning back to throw, zips one right, completes it to the five-yard line. The ball is then ripped out of the hands of Cruz, and the Patriots recover it. That's our ball. That's our ball, ain't it? Hey, here you go. I think there's 12 guys right. on the field. Gino, you're right. This is coming back. We have 12 men. Yeah. Well, the Patriots have started this one in horrendous fashion. They're trailing two to nothing and are in danger of quickly falling behind nine to nothing. Back to throw. Throws one. Up. Touchdown, Giants. Victor Cruz on the slam. He just faked out ahead of ball and left him standing totally flat footed. And he does the salsa. In the Patriots end zone. For Cruz, his first touchdown of the postseason. Let's go! Let's go! Now 
again. You guys know what they're doing now. 50th and uh, yeah, seven water playing the 58. The third today. Hey, if White is in the game, it's 4 3 Scott Green. Okay? As long as the Patriots are going to put seven in the box, the Giants are going to run this football. New York's game plan was obvious. Grind New England down with the ground attack to keep Tom Brady on the sidelines. Giants and 10 carries, 70 yards rushing. That's an average of seven yards a carry. Not going to win any games giving that up. Combined with Manning's pinpoint passing, the Giants dominated time of possession throughout the first half. Despite Manning's record-setting pace, New York didn't add any points in the second quarter to counter a Patriots field goal. So a Giants coffin corner punt would try to saddle New England with the same fate. Boone's one to the far sideline. Great kick. And it goes out of bounds around the two-yard line. Not call it the four. 51-yard punt, no return. Let's go put one on the board, huh? Let's go put one on the board. In the closing minutes of the first half, the Patriots mounted a 14-play, 96-yard drive that would give them their first lead of the game. Brady in the shotgun. 15 seconds left in the half. Third and two. Drifts to his right. Still drifting. Now rolls to the left. Now throws. Caught. Touchdown. The Patriots then widened their lead with another score on the opening possession of the second half. Yeah! The touchdown with eight seconds to go in the first half and now a drive to start the third. New York had been held scoreless for 22 minutes. It was well past time for the Giants to put together a successful drive. In the third quarter, they produced two of them. Giants didn't cross the goal line. But they did add a pair of vital field goals from Lawrence Times to enter the fourth quarter trailing by only two. Kick on its way and it is good. So the Giants inch closer. Tournament of touchdowns will be fine, all right? Let's roll, let's roll. Rocky. As the second half wore on, the Giants' pass rush began to take its toll on Tom Brady. Wait, 20! Wait, wait, dead! Alpha! Look out! He takes the snap, he's back to throw, he's under pressure, and he's gonna get nine runs out of the sack, and now Brady rolls to his right, throws a deep ball downfield for Gronkowski, jump ball! Oh. was a great job by the defensive line of getting Brady on the go under duress. And Brady probably wishes he would have gotten sacked because then he tried to deep ball to Gronkowski and Blackburn stayed with him. Got his body in position and completed the play. Brady's pass intercepted by number 93. Let's go. Let's go. Brady's downfield gamble had become Chase Blackburn's play, Super Bowl moment. But the Giants offense struggled to capitalize on New England's mistake. 
This has been an excruciatingly yeah, tough game. We expected it to be tough, and it's been every bit of that. Throws it down the right sideline. He has a receiver open. Manningham, but he didn't get his feet down at the 10-yard line. Step on McCourty, but Manning's pass let him out of bounds. That's the one they've been waiting for, too. Manningham would get another chance after the Patriots misfired on their own deep pass play. It is cold drop. Added at the 20-yard line of the Giants. Walker could not hang on. They're mixing it up now. We, we got to take advantage of this. This is still a cruise in Nick's game. Like that ball that goes through your hands, the snag, the cruise. I mean, I know we're right on him. It's tight. But those are still the guys. Make them go to Manningham. Make them go to Pasco. All right. Well, let's make sure we get Cruz and Nick's. All right. Especially in zone coverage. Know where they are. At least two people in Lucas Oil Stadium believed in Mario Manningham his mother, and his quarterback. This is the drive. We've seen something like this before, haven't we? Yes, we have. Manning out of the shotgun set, and he's back to throw. Finds the pocket. Deep ball down the left sideline, and it's going to be caught. Was he inbounds? Yes! Manningham on the sideline. If this is a catch, it's a miracle. i got to see this again. The Patriots challenged, but replays confirmed the ruling. Mario Manningham had made the biggest play of Super Bowl 46. Wow, that's just a great play. Wow, he got his feet in. Yeah, that's a catch. It looks like it. Catch, right, left. Yes! Yes! Make a play, let's make a play. Manningham's catch inspired the Giants offense to come alive in the final minutes. Here comes the Patriot blitz. Zips one left, Nix has got it inside the 20. Two minutes in the world champions, oh let's go. Manning takes the snap, the receiver screen to Nix. Nix to the sideline and Nix goes out of bounds. But it sets up a first and goal for the Giants. Barely a minute remained. And the question was not if the Giants were going to score, but how and when. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll be able to run it all the way down to about uh, 35. Hang on, hang on. You gotta let him score. You gotta let him score. Second down, handoff Bradshaw, he runs up the middle, oh, and he falls into the end zone for the touchdown. He thought about stopping, but he went in for the touchdown. As he handed the ball to Bradshaw, Manning shouted to his running back not to score. He was a moment too late. He's given the Giants the lead here in the Super Bowl, but it was a almost reluctant touchdown by Bradshaw. Ahmad's hesitation couldn't obscure the bigger picture. Eli Manning had again delivered a last-minute touchdown in the Super Bowl. We good. Defense going to finish it. On D. Let's go. Let's go. Justin Tuck's second sack of the game appeared to push the Patriots to the brink of defeat. Fourth down. Brady takes the shotgun snap. Steps up into the pocket, rolls to his left, looks, fires, caught, first down. The Patriots got to midfield, and with five seconds left, Brady had one more chance. One play away. I can't stay still. I can't stay still. One last play. I need a miracle now. Goal post, two half. Goal post, two half. Goal post, right? Run to the goal post and catch it. Brady. With probably the final play of the game. Takes the snap. Steps up. Rolls to his right. Now rolls to his left. Now fires it toward the end zone.
batted around. It's the house that Peyton built, but it's Eli who wins the Super Bowl in Indianapolis. Manning was named the game's MVP, but an entire team shared equally in the victory. Giants, once again, world champions of professional football.